Good morning and good afternoon. We are going to be doing our lab. In this case, I will be doing the lab for you. We are going to be investigating specific heat of water. And to do this, we'll be burning a piece of food. In this case, it's going to be a marshmallow. On your lab, you'll be able to find all the information regarding how many calories are in a marshmallow. Please understand that as I'm doing this lab, I will be telling you data, but I will not be telling you anything about whether the data are correct or whether they are incorrect. All you're going to be getting is just basic information. So please do not take anything I say here as confirmation that, uh, that the data are good or that they are bad. It's up to you to find out whether or not these data are working properly. To start off, I want to take a look at all the equipment that we'll be using. Here we have our digital scale that we use in class. Right here is our lab quest. This probe here is going to be measuring the temperature of the water and how it's going to change. Right here, we're using a soda pop can as a device called a calorimeter. It's basically something where we can burn our food and then we can get data from it as far as temperature change. So the marshmallow will be going underneath here. We'll be setting it on fire and using the heat to warm up the water. The other half of the soda pop can right here is going to be what we call our reservoir. This is where the water is going to go. When the water goes in here, we'll measure the temperature. We'll then take this apparatus. We'll put the, the reservoir on top. We'll uh, light the, the marshmallow on fire wait for it to completely burn out, and then measure the increase in the water's temperature. With that information, knowing what we know about water, we should be able to figure out how many calories were used to heat up the water. We then want to compare to see, do those calories match up with the calories that are printed on the, uh, the package of marshmallows. In the perfect world, they will. Since this is not a perfect world, we are probably going to be guessing that it's going to be more or less calories than we're expecting. It's going to be up to you to come up with an idea of why the calories are not uh, what, not what, uh, what we expect. So with this lab, we do have a very special guest who is helping us out, my daughter Libby. I don't know if you can hear her. Hello. So the first thing we're going to do is take our reservoir Put it on the scale. Now, you've, of course, you've seen this before. The scale changes because of the weight of the reservoir. So we're going to zero it out. And now Libby is going to pour some water into this reservoir. Go ahead. OK, that's fine. I guess it might be a little much. So, hopefully you can read the temp the, the sorry you can read the weight on your screen. Okay. Next, we're gonna we're gonna insert the probe. I'm gonna turn the scale off. I'm gonna keep this probe in here for a few moments. So make sure you observe carefully what the temperature is on the lab quest right here. So with our apparatus set up now, Libby is going to set the marshmallow on fire. It's going to take a little while for it to burn, but that heat should travel up the calorimeter and heat the water. We have holes in the calorimeter to allow air to escape and air to enter. So again, it, uh, ideally, this should allow the thing to keep burning without losing oxygen. So Libby, would you please try to uh, burn this? Okay, maybe difficult to see on your screens, but it is starting to burn. So we've skipped ahead a little bit in time. The marshmallow has pretty much completely burned. So now we're going to measure the temperature of the water after. Okay. 
It's still climbing and so the temperature is still climbing very, very slowly and it appears to be hovering around 28.6 degrees Celsius. That's 28.7. 28.8. I think it's safe to say that it's finished at 28.8 degrees. So now we have a starting temperature, an ending temperature, and we know how much water we have. We should be able to use this information to figure out do the calories released into the water equal the calories that are supposed to be in one marshmallow. As usual, if you have any questions, please make sure you email me. Otherwise, use the information that we have and your knowledge about specific heat to see if you can get the, the correct answer. If it does not come out to what you're expecting, I am expecting you to come up with at least three ideas of why this is not the case. They could be ideas that, that I had control over. Maybe I made a mistake. They could be ideas that we have no control over things that, uh, that we, we uh, can't, uh, can't account for, things like for, uh, maybe the materials we're using or the equipment we're using, any of these things might be a cause of error. So I'm expecting you to find these. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Email is best. Otherwise, I look forward to getting your lab write-ups. I want them in turned in by Friday. And if you have any questions, Send me an email and we'll see if we can figure it out. Thank you very much. Good luck.